One of the tools that we'll be using is a truth table. And these will come in handy in lots of different situations. So what truth tables do is they list all the possible combinations of true and false. And if we're just working with a single variable, then we only have two options. It can either be true or false. So just two, that's the entire combination for a single variable. If we're working with two variables, then there's, a, then there's four combinations. So the way we do this is in the um, column on the right, when we're listing just the variables, the column on the right alternates between true and false. So we have true, false, true, false. And then the column on the left will have two rows with true and two rows with false. And when we do that, we get the combination true, true, the combination true, false, the combination false, true, and the combination false, false. And that's all the combinations that we can have with two variables. If we have three variables, then there's eight combinations. And again, on the furthest right column, where we're listing the variables, it alternates true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Then the next column, it's in pairs, two trues, two falses, two trues, two falses. And in the next column, it jumps to four. So there are four trues and then four columns. And if you look at each of these, this shows every combination of those three different variables as they take on either the value of true or false. Now that's how we set a truth table up. And then the additional columns, after we identify the individual variables and set up a truth table that's big enough to represent every combination of true and false with those variables, then our additional columns identify what happens when we combine them or negate them. And, and then what are the truth values? So we'll use those to uh, identify when we manipulate them, what happens. And let's go ahead and look at the truth tables for our basic operators. So here's the truth table for conjunction, which is AND. So if we're using two variables, P and Q, P and Q are the two variables, and then we look at what does it mean when we use the AND operator or the conjunction operator with them. So if P is true, Q is true, then P and Q is true. When P is true and Q is false, then P and Q is false. When P is false and Q is true, then P and Q is false. And when they're both false, then P and Q is false. And this is always the case. Whenever we use that conjunction operator, this is the result. So this is well-defined, unambiguous. That's always the result. If we're using negation, negation only applies to a single variable. So we can demonstrate that with a single variable. So if we have a variable P, when it's true, not P is false. When it's false, not P is true. Now this would be the same if we had a variable Q, right? We would put Q in the first column and not Q in the second column, and the truth table would be exactly the same. Here's the truth table for disjunction, or the OR operation. Notice that in the case that they're both true, it's true. In the case that either one is true, then they're both true. The case that when they're both false is the only time you get false when you're using the disjunction. Now what about exclusive OR? So exclusive OR is true when either of them are true and the other one is false, right? Those two middle ones, then it's true. But if they're both true, then it's false because it's exclusive. It's like one is true and the other is not. And when they're both false, it's false. So that's how exclusive OR works.